Hey guys, my name's Amber and I'm a park ranger. Today we're at Honeymoon Island State Park in Dunedin, Florida. We're standing here in front of the entrance to the Osprey Trail. Have you guys ever heard about or seen ospreys? If not, today I'm going to be teaching you about them as well as specialist and generalist species. Specialist species are species that only have a narrow range of resources and habitats they can utilize. Our most common specialist species here at Honeymoon Island is the osprey, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Another example of a specialist species here at Honeymoon is the black skimmer. The black skimmer's lower beak protrudes from the upper half, and it does this so that it can skim the water for its prey. In contrast to specialist species are generalist species, which have a wide range of habitats and resources they can utilize. A great example of those here at Honeymoon Island are raccoons, which I'm sure you know can eat pretty much anything. Ospreys are found on every continent except for Antarctica, but are always found within three to five miles of water. They're also excellent nest builders. Why is Honeymoon Island such a great place for ospreys? Well, first of all, we're on a barrier island, so that gives them plenty of water to hunt for prey from. Also, where we're standing right now in the Osprey Trail is a pine flatwood forest, which gives them plenty of trees to build nests on. They nest here from December to June. Our most successful year, they had 20 successful nests, but in 2019, there were 20 attempts and only 10 successful nests. All of these characteristics from their waterproof wings to their nostrils that close or what make them called a fish specialist. They're even called the fish hawk and fish make up 99% of their diet. This is my friend Reggie and he's gonna help me teach you guys about the morphology of ospreys. Ospreys have a wingspan of about 63 inches and can weigh about three and a half pounds. They have waterproof wings with carpal or wrist-like joints at the bottom that bend. They have relatively long legs for raptors with spiny pads called spicules at the bottom of their talons. They also have a reversible toe talon that aids them in capturing slippery fish. They even have nostrils that close for when they dive underwater. In the 1970s, their population was greatly reduced due to the pesticide DDT. However, nowadays their biggest threat is litter, specifically fishing line. So to help them, make sure to clean up your trash. Here at Honeymoon Island, we do prescribed burns in our pine flatwood forest. This allows for healthy growth and it creates snags, which allows osprey to use the sticks to build their nests. So we help the ospreys keep a healthy population by picking up litter and doing prescribed burns. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about ospreys, the specialist species of Honeymoon Island with me. When you come to our park, look up in the trees for ospreys and their nests. If you find an injured bird or osprey, make sure to call the ranger station or FWC. If you can't get outside to our park, visit us at www.floridastateparks.org. There you will find more information about the Florida State Parks, as well as information on things such as our junior ranger program and volunteer applications. When you come to Florida State Parks, remember to take only pictures and leave only footprints and make sure to pick up all your trash. Again, I'm Park Ranger Amber and thank you for watching.